Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Aurora Borealis collab with Never Naked Nails Nail Art. I've started off with Get a Grip as my base coat. This is from Vibrant Vinyls. And then I'll be using Braves Diva Game Over as my base color. It's just a nice black cream, one coater. I'm going to cap that free edge first. And then I'm going to go in with this beautiful, easy one coat. I am so happy to see indie makers making these one coat black creams. It's awesome. These also are great for stamping. So there we go. Got to get over here to the side of the nail. I feel like I don't make as much of a mess if I pinch that skin back a little bit and hold my finger up like that. It just works for me. So there we go. One easy breezy beautiful coat. I'm going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Walmart is not carrying this. I'm hearing from friends all over the place that they are not finding it. So if you do run across it, snatch it up, y'all. I know I will be. I'm for sure going to grab it because it is a really good one. Great value for the size of bottle. I'll be using Elephant Walk by China Glaze. I know it needs to be shook up. And I'm just sponging this a little bit down near the tips. Because this is a sky kind of image, so I'm going to want some difference. And I'll be using the Maniology M001 and the Poin. This is um, super intense white, pure white. My AliExpress stamper and my clear jelly scraper. And we're using today this Aurora Borealis image. And I'm just stamping the whole image across my nails. I'm picking up enough for each nail and working through that whole image. Um, you can see I've got my thumb done and my other nails. And then I'm, there we go. Now I'm going to be using these OPI color paints to fill in the beautiful colors of the Aurora Borealis. <clears throat> I just thought this would be a great way to do this manicure. Um, I thought about it long and hard. Jill and I had been talking about this for quite some time, ever since we got this box with this image on it. So I was really happy to get together and play with Miss Jill over at Never Naked Nails Nail Art. I will have a link for her channel down below. Um, go check her out, see how her mani turned out and what she did. I am trying to blend those kind of go in between the two colors and blend in them a little bit. Um, you know, just to give it some dimension. But I'm using these four colors from the OPI color paints. You could use any kind of jelly, you know, that, that you have on hand. Um, these are kind of opaque jellies, uh, but, you know, there's ways of, of getting there. Um, like my jellies that I made, they're not super opaque but they could be just need to add some more of those base colors to them so i'm trying to figure out where i need to add these colors in because i don't want my aurora borealis to be all messed up you know I'm trying to get all these colors on the nails and i just loved this idea i'm so excited jill invited me to come play with her and do this manicure uh, this is just one of my favorites. I mean, I, I do have manicures that I dread having to take them off to do another one. But I'm such a nail junkie, you know, these my manis don't last more than a few days at top. So, but this is one of those that I loved and I wore it and I oh, just loved it, loved it. So there we go with those four. Now on my thumb, I'm going to try to do all the colors on one nail. And you'll see I can get a little crazy here, and I'm just brushing down over into my gray. So, I'm going to go in with my little cleanup brush with a little bit of cleaner uh, remover on it. And just kind of wipe some of that up. I do have to go back in on that tip where I balded it out and put a little bit more gray, but that's not a problem. It's completely fixable. And now I'm going to start with the other colors, just like I did on those other nails. But we're getting all the colors on this thumbnail. It's like the show nail right here. I was so excited to see this image. And, and the, when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's cool. But, of course, I played with the moon first. And then um, Jill got in touch with me. And 
Oh, I'm so excited she did because look how cool this is. And we're not even done yet. I'm not even done playing with this one yet. Lots of steps to this manicure. And I know from a distance it looks kind of like a, you know, just a blob of pretty colors, which is pretty. But um, up close, I think you really get it. It's, it's, it's the Aurora Borealis. <laughs> so pretty. I'm going to do a little bit of touching up. There's a couple of places where I'm kind of still seeing the white peek through. So there we go. So far. <laughs> I'm going to use my northern lights. This is the silver northern lights. I have shook it up real good. And I'm just going to go over the top of everything with it. Um, I just wanted, I needed some bling. You guys know we like the bling. And when you've got pretty colors like that, don't you think you need just a little bit of bling? But I didn't want it taken over my mani, so that's why the northern lights is perfect. So there we go. Got some little glitter going on. Some hollow flakies. I'm going to be using BMS 306. I needed these tree line images. I will also be using this MDU Dark Green number 7, my AliExpress stamper, and my Clear Jelly Scraper card. Because I just really wanted kind of like shadows of the trees. That's all the pictures I was looking at. Almost all of them had, you know, a tree line involved in it. But I stamped these on, and I'm not really that impressed. I can't hardly see them. So I decide uh, I'm going to claim this plate off as a mass tone. Get ready for the next stamp. But now I'm going to go in with this Born Pretty Bright Green and just add it to the top. Just kind of double stamp over that. It does kind of muddle it up a little bit, but I think it really adds to the dimension and the tree line. Um, if I'd have known about this first, I'd have done the light green first and then the dark green on top of it. So I'll be using the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat. The stinking camera's making me crazy. Okay, it's just not going to pick it up. Stop fighting it, Tina. Just let it go. Sorry, guys. We've got two personalities fighting here. The I ain't giving up and the oh, yes, you are. So I'm going to use that Smudge Free Top Coat real quick. And once it's dry, I'm going to go in with my last and final top coat. Now today I'm using the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. I am hooked on this stuff. I love it. It doesn't shrink. It smells good. And um, the smell for me lasts a couple of days, you know. Of course, I don't normally wear manis longer than two or three days. Like I said, five at the most. So, Harry Woody, there you go. Thank you. So here's my manicure. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please go check out Jill's video. And um, I have a swatch photo coming up here real soon. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed Jill's. And I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.